Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily briefing. Uh, it's nice to be back here. Has the president seen the footage from Oakland this week of violence between protesters and the police? And is there a concern in the White House or from the president that these Occupy protests become, lead to violence in some way uh, in the coming months? I, I don't know that he's seen that specific footage. Uh, he certainly is aware of the news in general, and, and, and there are TVs on uh, around here and when, when, when we travel. Uh, we, as the President has said, understand the frustrations that have led to these demonstrations. There's a lot of concern out there about our sluggish economy, the need for it to grow faster, the fact that our unemployment rate is much too high. There is also a lot of concern about the uh, perception that Wall Street, writ large here, uh, acted in a way that helped precipitate the worst financial crisis and worst economic crisis that we've seen since the Great Depression. After we have passed into, into law and signed into law reforms that uh, would both protect Americans, consumers in, in their dealings with financial institutions and would ensure that the kinds of reckless actions that were taken could not be taken again. That's not going to happen. Uh, we see a lot of uh, efforts uh, in Congress from Republicans as well as uh, by lobbyists for Wall Street to try to undo those reforms, to stop, for example, the uh, uh, confirmation of our nominee to head the uh, Consumer Financial Protection Board, our, our consumer watchdog. Is the That's goal? not going to happen. As to the violence, you know, we, we obviously believe and insist that everyone behave in, in a lawful manner, uh, even as they're expressing justifiably their, their frustrations. Uh, yes? Um, Jay, sort of to follow on that, obviously the most graphic images we've seen have come from Oakland, but there's a lot of cities where leaders are becoming frustrated with the movements, and not because of violence, but because of sort of the persistent nature of it and how it sort of disrupts, uh, I, I guess, business and that kind of thing. There's a lot of talk of getting rid of, or pardon me, there's a lot of talk of sort of cracking down, arrests, that kind of thing. Does the president think that's appropriate, or does he see that as putting a limit on expression? I haven't had that discussion with the President. I think, again, I would just go back to what I said to Michael. We, we understand the frustrations that are being expressed, uh, specifically with regard to uh, the, um, the need to make sure that Main Street and Wall Street operate by the same set of rules, uh, and, and the general frustration with uh, the need for jobs and, and, and econo economic growth that creates opportunity for middle class Americans. And, and certainly we have a long and noble tradition of free expression and free speech in this country. Uh, we also, it's also important that uh, laws are upheld and obeyed. Uh, but that's, I mean, that's a broad, broad view. I haven't had a discussion about specific cities or instances with the president. But aside from lawlessness, the just assembling, and obviously in, in the sheer numbers that we're seeing, <laughs> mm -hmm. it certainly you know, gets Again, in the way. Without getting into specific decisions by lo municipalities, city councils, mayors, I would simply say that there is a long and noble tradition in the United States of free uh, expression and free speech. When the, the new chief of staff came here, I guess it was six or seven months ago, uh, he walked with the president across Lafayette Park to the Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. in an effort to mend fences, to sort of demonstrate that he was uh, rolling back some regulations, unshackling business uh, to, to help them uh, in their efforts to, to get through the recession. Six months later, the Occupy Wall Street crowd walked up from Freedom Plaza, and they weren't there to man mend fences. They were there to lay siege to the place. So I'm wondering, I mean, given these two contrasting images, is there any concern on your part that the goals of Occupy Wall Street are uh, run counter to the goals of the administration in terms of, in terms of uh, your attitudes towards business and deregulation? Uh, I'll, I'll try to fashion an answer that, that takes into uh, account all the pieces of that question. 
the president remains committed to taking the kinds of actions that lessen the regulatory burden where it is appropriate to do so. As I just pointed out in my recitation of actions that he has taken administratively uh, prior to this most recent several announcements, uh, we have, through uh, regulatory relief, uh, initiated action that will save more than a billion dollars for hospitals and doctors uh, announced by HHS. Uh, I would also point, again, on just starting with the first part, point that I, I read a report recently in the last couple of days that despite what you might hear from some folks, uh, President Obama has actually issued fewer regulations than President Bush, 43, at this stage in his presidency. And that the, the overall quote unquote burden of those regulations is less than under President Bush. Having said that, it is the fundamental mission of this president to lift up, secure, uh, help secure, and, 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 and give opportunity to the middle class of this country. And the frustrations you're seeing expressed what, you know, broadly by the American people as well as through these demonstrations are frustrations that he absolutely understands because they go right to the heart of the problem we're facing, which is economic growth that is too slow and unemployment that is too high. Above all else, his priority is to address those problems. Mr. Jack. Can you um, describe how the president gets his information about the Occupy wherever uh, movement? Uh, is it become institutionalized as a part of any briefing as it's spread? Is, are there people designated to sort of stay on top of it, to try to talk to people associated with it? Uh, that last part, not that I'm aware of, I and mean, the president gets his information about it through you. I mean, he there's, amp there's substantial coverage about it, and the, the, the president, uh, sorry to the folks in the front row, doesn't watch a lot of TV news, but he does read a lot of news. and, and uh, <laughs> He's old school that way, uh, but he watches some. I mean, it, look, he catches it. He he, he is very current on uh, those developments, uh, and uh, but it, there's no there's no organized or mechanized way that he's that those issues are brought to him uh, because they they're, they're right there, obviously, in front of him when he reads the newspaper or you know, on his iPad or, or, or uh, catches it sometimes on the television in the Outer Oval. Thank you. 